in this video we will understand more about the ambulance services used in healthcare hospitalization and its relation to the health insurance as to what a policy holder should know regarding the ambulance services before i proceed hello everybody this is venkatesh this is my twitter handle my youtube channel name is empowering with financial awareness where i post contents on personal finance health insurance and stock investing if you are interested in these topics please do subscribe to my channel if you are interested to know more about uh, health insurance you can read my ebook on health insurance the link to the book is provided in the description section of this video this book ebook covers uh, basic jargons the critical illness and comparison of nearly 100 products from 20 plus health insurance companies please note that these are all not recommendations it is only in comparison of the features it is for you to pick the right product which is suitable to you thanks for choosing to watch this video if you found this message useful please to share this message to your friends relatives and colleagues who also will be benefited let us first see the background about the service ambulance is a very helpful service that is provided by hospitals and um, medical centers this is offered round the clock 24 by 7 and it's equipped with a bed for the patient to lie down comfortably during the journey and with some basic first aid facilities to stabilize the patient till he or she reaches the hospital ambulances also have basic life support facilities like a ventilator heart rate monitor maybe bp checking equipment and equipments to stabilize blood pressure and so on so as i told you this is all aimed to keep the patient stable till they reach the hospital we will now see the importance of ambulance this is a very very crucial facility in a case of emergency and this is the first phase that a patient and their uh, dependents see during the admission because even before you reach the hospital or before you see the doctor we come across the ambulance it is so crucial that it can be a differentiator between life and death so it helps the patients to reach the hospital within the golden hour golden hour is like what the doctor sees as a crucial period within which the treatment has to be given to the patient for the patient to survive and ambulance helps to helps the patient to reach the hospitals within the golden hour so contrast to the problem with that uh, ambulance is used to merely transport a patient the present day ambulances are more like mobile hospitals with all the facilities we saw just now they help the patient and to support to live till it reaches the hospital we will now see the definition of ambulance as given in the policy statement or policy document of many of the health insurance companies it is a road vehicle operated by a licensed authorized service provider and equipped with for the transport and paramedical treatment of the person requiring medical attention so i have bolded a few words with intention so the ambulance should be from a licensed or authorized service provider and it should have a paramedical treatment facility to support the patients we will now see when the ambulance is needed first cases for immobile patients where the patients cannot move around or walk by themselves and second case in case of medical emergencies where the patient has become unconscious or has met with the accident and it is um, and is extremely weak to directly go to the hospital the third case is the patient has orthopedic disorders whereby they cannot walk or move normally and the fourth case is the patient has already been treated by the hospital and after a surgical procedure the patient is weak enough so even during discharge they need to comfortably go to their homes so those conditions can be used and lastly a very critically crucially uh, affected patients where they need continuous medical support where during the travel from one place to another place I will now discuss a few key aspects which a policy holder should know about ambulance usage claim etc 
And these are the ones which I picked up from the policy wording document of a few health insurance companies. I would request you to confirm whether they are the same or different for the policy you hold by going through the policy wording documents. The first point is the ambulance claim is paid when the patient is transferred from where they were ill to the nearest hospital. The key to note is the payment is from where they were ill. For example, it could be at home or office or in case of accident, it could be in the middle of the road to the nearest to hospital. That is the emphasis. And in case the patient has already been admitted and he needs to be shifted to another hospital for an advanced treatment. So in that case, the ambulance payment is honored. But such a transfer should be recommended by the treating medical practitioner or doctor. And the limit is the ambulance payment is for one transfer per hospitalization. For example, first she was shifted from home to hospital and again the doctor said that he needs advanced treatment and he is transferred to another hospital. So that becomes the second time. After the procedure there, from that hospital to home, he is transferred by ambulance. So in all, the patient has utilized the ambulance transfer thrice. But however, your insurance company will pay only one transfer. And fourthly, the service should be by a healthcare or an ambulance service provider. So that should be noted. And lastly, the claim is not payable if the transfer by ambulance is was for evaluation purposes. For example, say there was some scan which was to be done and the patient was not able to move and the patient was put in an ambulance and taken for an MRI scan. So it is only an evaluation. There was no hospitalization or any anything uh, medical procedure being done. So in such cases, the ambulance claim is not honored. Regarding the claim, you need to keep all the ambulance bill and receipts for submitting to the health insurance company and what amount they will allow is clearly mentioned in your policy wording document to the extent of saying 2000 rupees per policy or per hospitalization whatever it will be clearly mentioned in the document and it is usually a cap so it's not a open amount it's a maximum of 2000 or 3000 and for elite variant it could be up to 10,000 and better to have the contacts of ambulance services nearby your locality or your house to make use of them in case of emergencies and please note health insurance companies don't cover the ambulance color and ambulance equipment charges which are levied by the ambulance services or the hospitals these are by and large mentioned in most of the policy wording document as exclusions they are not paying this amount these are my other videos on health insurance you can refer my playlist on health insurance where I have covered uh, the importance of having a own health insurance cover, the importance of room rent limit, then strategic deposits for uh, insurance, various health insurance documents, importance of brochure and policy wording document and network hospitals. Thank you.